This is Grave Confessions from the Grave Talks. Daily, raw, real, and disturbing accounts of the living, interacting with the dead. To share your grave confession, experience with the paranormal, supernatural, or the undead, call toll-free 888-GHOST-13. That's 888-446-7813. Now, today's grave confession. This is Julie from Northwest Ohio. I found your podcast roughly two months ago, and I have been addicted ever since. Um, I love you guys. You guys are fantastic. Um, and I just love the spin that you put on on the things because, you know, as I've always been very aware of my surroundings and intrigued by the paranormal, I'm I'm also terrified of it. Um, you know, it's the unknown. And and to be honest with you, I wasn't going to become an EPP at first because. I, you guys kept saying how they're the more spookier stories, and I really like the uplifting ones. I don't mind a good, you know, scare every now and then, but I have decided that I am just so addicted that I cannot. I, I'm, I'm definitely going to be getting an EP, EPP membership um, next month for my birthday, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, but yeah, so um, sensitivity runs in my family. Lots of, lots of. Uh, of my aunts and uncles and even my mom and my dad and my sister and uh, even my almost five-year-old daughter has had some things happen to her. So I'll call back and, you know, you know, explain some more things that have happened. Um, But the reason it took me some time to make this first call is because it's really overwhelming for me to figure out where to start um, because there have been so many occurrences. Um, But I'd like to start off with a couple dreams that I've had. Um, the first one happened when I was about 17, and it was the day after my uncle had passed. Now, I was pretty close with my uncle. He, uh, we always had a special bond, and he had this nickname for me that I absolutely hated, but I would let him call me that because it was his special name for me, and nobody else was allowed to, and nobody else did. So, <laughs> um, we, you know, it, it was pretty devastating whenever I, I got the news that morning. Um, so anyways, I had a dream one night and I remember being in a room that was pretty open. The floor, uh, was concrete and it really wasn't brightly lit, but it wasn't like an ominous feeling in the room. I remember there was like a water heater in like one of the corners and there was a basketball hoop. Now I know that seems odd, but there's some significance to that. At least I think that there is. Um, So, in the dream, he was wearing um, this button-up, grayish button-up short sleeve shirt um, with, like, something on the left upper side. It was like a patch that I I couldn't read, um, and he had some black faded jeans on. And I don't remember exactly how he appeared, and I don't even... I didn't even see myself in the dream. I just saw him in this room, and... um, He did this thing. He's standing in front of the uh, basketball hoop. And this part's kind of hard to explain because it's like this move that he always did. And it's like where he stomps his foot and he like puts his hands out and he he does his distinctive laugh that he always does. And right before he laughs, he says my nickname. And he's just smiling and I, I just feel happiness and warmth. And it's just so vivid. And that was basically it. Um, I didn't say anything to him and he just did that one thing. And, and I woke up, um, and I, you know, I told my, I was so excited. I I wanted to go tell my dad about what had just happened. And, you know, I'm telling him like, you know, everything he's wearing and you know what he does. And my dad's just kind of smiling at me. And my dad was actually one of the ones to, um, identify his body after his death. And, he was like, Julie, he came, he came to say goodbye to you because that's exactly what he was wearing when, whenever he passed. So obviously that gives you chills. Um, and the basketball hoop has significance because we always used to play. That was our game. We would always play basketball together. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. And I think that, I think that he was letting me know that he was okay. Cause like I said, it hit me pretty hard, um, when he did pass. Um, so Um, I think he was just telling me, hey, I'm all right. (laughs) So I thought that one was pretty cool. Um, The next dream is actually 
not as pleasant. Um, and actually, this is the reason I decided to send this um, call in because um, I was listening to one of your episodes titled Woman, um, Woman in the Woods that was aired on May 31st of 2017. And you guys asked if anyone had ever had a family member who's passed um, come to you and almost be like warning of the other side or whatnot. Um, and so I, I may have had this happen. I don't know. Um, I would really like to get your thoughts on it. But this is my um, about my grandmother. She was 92 and she had developed dementia in her last months of her life. So, you know, she was, you know, didn't remember, it was, it was pretty bad, but it was her time. Um, I, there really wasn't much this dream, but I just remember feeling sheer horror. Like I saw her face and she was younger, but she wasn't like really like, like young adult. She was when I, young, like when I was growing up, um, and her face, her, it, it was her and she's dressed in all black and she's like wrapped in like this black headdress and she's reaching out for me and she's like, her face almost looks like the drama mask face, uh, the sad one, you know, but she's scared. Like I'm, I just feel scared and she's, it just felt it, it was just horrifying. And I remember waking up and I didn't feel, I didn't have that good feeling. Like it was just so scary and nothing was said. And obviously I didn't say anything, but the thing about this is my grandma is, she was the most loving kind. She was always singing and she was always cooking food and she was a strict Catholic and she went to mass all the time. I mean, multiple times a week. And she's the last person that you would ever think would be um, in, in distress on the other side, you know? Um, so that's what really scares me about this. Um, I'm hoping that it was just a nightmare and not like my grandma, like telling me that she's not in a good place or not happy. Um, I don't know, but I would like to, I would like to hear your guys' thoughts on that. Um, and like I said, I, I have uh, many other stories that I can call in with. Um, so, but thank you guys so much for doing what you do. You guys are awesome. Um, I hope to hear this. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thank you. This has been a grave confession from the Grave Talks. To share your grave confession experience with the paranormal or the undead, call toll free 888 Ghost 13. That's 888 446 7813.